Hello and welcome to a new video and today we are traveling to Poland. We are going from Guben in Germany to Cilona Góra in Poland and here on the map you can see our route today. I will try my very best to pronounce everything correctly but it's kind of difficult for a German making an English video with a lot of Polish city names so I'm sorry for any mispronunciations. And here we saw our train arriving, which is a PESA Link today, or the Polish class SA139. And these trains are operated by the Polish operator Pol Regio, Pol Regio. And now we can take a look into the train. I was a bit disappointed that this particular train was operating the route today. I was hoping for a different train. I was hoping for the PESA 218M. That's because this train is also operating regional routes in Germany, so it's not a new train for me. And also the seats are very common in Germany. Here in this train the seat page is pretty small. A table is available but no other features. Here we are leaving the station of Guben in Germany and shortly after leaving the conductor asked me to go to the other car of the train as in the car I was first. The heating was not working properly so that was very kind of him to let me know that the other car is warmer. So I went there and there the seat pitch was also way bigger and it was more comfortable. So if you're traveling with the PESA link and the seat pitch is tiny, maybe try another seat. Not all seats do have the same seat pitch. And here, just a few hundred meters after leaving the German station of Guben, we are reaching a river called Neisse. And this is the border from Germany and Poland. So with crossing that bridge, we are already reaching Poland. So today's railway line is 99% in Poland. Just these very short few hundred meters at the beginning are in Germany. Here in Poland, we are reaching the station of Gubin. Gubin is just the Polish name for the German name Guben. These cities used to be one city now. They are divided by the border, but they still are two cities with the same name that are also just divided by this small river. In some cases for the people of Gubin it's even more convenient to go to the German station of Gubin as it is closer to the center of Gubin than the station of Gubin itself. I'm making this video today because there have been many requests on my German videos to make a video about train traveling in Poland and it's also very interesting for me as Poland do have very interesting trains and that's the reason why I was a bit disappointed that there is this PESA link operating our route today as this is a very common train in Germany as well so it's nothing new for me. But still it was very interesting. It's the first time that I'm traveling by train in Poland. The route today is not too spectacular. The first part is almost completely in a forest so there's not too much to see. But shortly before arriving at the city of Krosno Ochanski we are crossing the river Bober. Krosno Ochanski means Krosno at the river Oder. The river we are crossing right now is not the river Oder, it's the river Bober. And these two rivers are merging just a few hundred meters behind this bridge. As the station of Krosno Ochanski is also quite far away from the city center.
As you saw, the station of Krosno Orchansky is rather big, and that is because there used to be another connection onto the city of Lupsko, but this branch line is closed down. So nowadays there are only the trains to Guben that are operating this station. Trains to Guben are only operating since 2022. It started in the middle of 2022 uh, with trains going from Gubin onto Guben on the German side on weekends. And since the change of the timetable in December, the trains are now going daily from Gubin on to Guben. Three times a day usually there is a direct train connection from Guben to Jilunagura. Meanwhile, we are reaching the next important station of Szervinsk. And from there you have different connections, for example, onto Frankfurt Oder in Germany, which will be the next video that I will upload, onto Szczecin and on to Szebaźniak. But we are continuing on to Zilunagura, which is the next big station. There's one station in between, and that's quite interesting if you're using the Deutsche Bahn app for this journey. It will not show you all stops in between, so I would recommend using the website of Pol Regio to get all informations. But unfortunately, this website currently is only available in Polish, just the possibility to buy tickets is available in English as well. Buying tickets is quite a bit difficult. You currently need to buy a ticket from Gubin to Zilunagura online on the website of Pol Regio. And this ticket is also valid for the small part between Gubin and Guben. In my case, I booked an online ticket with Pol Regio from Gubin to Zilunagura. And as I showed it to the conductor, he gave me an additional ticket from Guben to Gubin, which was free of charge. I was checking the information about the tickets on the website of the VBB, which is the transport association of this area in Germany. And they also stated that you can buy this ticket from Gubin to Zilunagura and it's valid also for the part from Guben. But you can also buy tickets on board the train according to this website. But I'm not sure if you can pay by card or if you need to pay cash. And in this case, you will probably need to pay with Polish Slotty. So make sure to bring Polish Slotty or buy your ticket online. I would not recommend trying to buy a ticket on board the train without having Polish Slotty with you, as there is the risk that this might not be working. Here we are arriving at the station of Zilunagura. And here in the background, you can also see the train that I was hoping for today but this one is operating the railway line to Görlitz, another city in Germany. So I have also plans to show you this line in the future. And I hope I can also show you a new train that's also new for me. And we end this video with a few impressions of Zilunagura, which in my opinion is a very beautiful city. I was very surprised positively by how beautiful the city is, as it was extremely cold, far below zero degrees. And I was not sure what to expect from Zilunagura and what I can do there. I was just having a layover of 40 minutes, but I was quite sad I could have spent way more time in this beautiful city. So make sure to plan enough time for Jilunagura if you're taking this train. That's it for this video. I hope it was interesting for you. Here you can see the name of the song and when the next video about our journey back to Frankfurt in Germany will be uploaded. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link and I hope to see you in my next video.